also that there is evidence of God everywhere. And if you would no. give me a moment, I will take three of your current points that you have here to prove it to you. Uh, go ahead. All right. So if you read the Bible now, that's that's up in the air. If you don't read the Bible, then don't. But if you read the Bible, the Genesis story says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, Big Bang Theory says that at the beginning of all this, there was a, a point in space that had all of the stuff, all the inf infinitely dense, infinitely massive. Right. And then it blew up into everything. Right. Not exactly, but good enough. But I mean, the general concept. Right. Mm. Of, of course, there was 13 point what, four billion years of time between then and now to which the earth is plenty of time to be three and a half, four and a half billion years old, which I, which I agree. I agree. I absolutely do. It says on the first day, God created the heavens and the earth. But that, but the, the big first, bang doesn't the state second, that the, the big then, bang almost could not be more clear that that's not what happened. What is the big bang? Then? Well, there's no, no earth like, at no, the beginning yeah, like of the this. big bang. Say again, there's no earth at the beginning of the big bang. I'm not saying there's no there earth for billions of years. I know. I agree. But we're also thinking about it as okay, though well, God. Is well, then the Bible doesn't the support the Big Bang. Time. We're also thinking about it as though God is limited to the confines of time. He is not. He is not in a, a, a time limited being as we are. He's got Think to get the chronology way. right, though. Think about it this way. If you are a computer engineer and you have created a computer with programs in said computer, life forms so to speak if you would you are able to do things to this computer to the code of the computer that the, the that the programs in the computer cannot understand that's because you are not limited to the confines of a computer chip this is a, this is very similar to how god is not limited to the confines of our physics i'm not saying that the big bang is spot on to the t but they're they're very aligned in a lot of the of, of the creation story in the I don't, beginning, God created the heavens and the I earth. don't think that Genesis gets anything with respect to the Big Bang right. Like literally not even one thing. The the first, second, third, fourth, fifth day. Okay, let's go to evolution. Let's go to evolution. So the birds of the the birds and the fish were created on the fifth day. The beasts Which is were not created true. on the sixth day. And man was created on the sixth day. Why can it? Why did, did, do you believe that this day is a day that we've we've depicted a twenty four hour period? That's explicitly how it's stated in the Old Testament. Yes, the 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 specific language in Hebrew that it uses for days in all other places in the Hebrew Bible refers to a twenty four hour period. Our day, absolutely. That's what we have to. That's what we have to go off of what what is being said. But God does not. It, it, these days for him, uh, it's also written in the Bible that one day for God is billions of years for him. I've heard so the, a, the third, the fourth. I've heard a thousand. Uh, and that's like sure. what that's one of the Psalms or something like that. Sure, 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 sure. Just a thousand. <clears throat> but God does not adhere to time as we do. So the first, second, third, fourth day go. That's the time that it took. 14 billion years to create the earth to get to, to, to where we are, or what is that? Nine. Cause the, the earth, if the universe is 13.4 billion, I'm actually, I, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm I, I'd like to call myself a, a bit of a science guy as well, but I do believe that that is that this, all of these are evidence. I believe that is all evidence, but it gets all of it wrong to you. Well, I, who says that the, the big bang is correct? Who says that? Who, the, how, how do you know? Were you there 13.4 billion years ago? Was anybody there? The Big Bang Just is... Who, who was see, there when yeah, the words of James Genesis Webb. were being written down? I know we've got James Webb, and James Webb can see way, way back into time. And I'm, I'm that's super dope. We're Buddy, looking at if you're going to tell me, thing. I don't understand this. You're telling me that these things prove that the Bible is true. And then when I pointed out to you that they don't match up at all, you said, well, who says that the Big Bang is true? So you just you just got rid of one of your pieces of evidence for your God existing. Do you concede I that you point? That the that three of your points are proof that the evidence that there are evidence of God. But I didn't say but that you that just but true. when I no 
Yeah, yeah, you said that. But then what happened was I said, well, actually, I think your case for the Big Bang is very weak. Then you then you just said, well, who says the Big Bang is even true? So you just deleted your evidence. I've got two others. If you don't want to believe me, you have to concede bang, that you just deleted your first wrong. piece of evidence, though. I don't have to try to prove you wrong. I'm not here to prove you wrong. I said the only you're thing here to try to prove you right. Evidence. Yeah. But and, and you said you have three evidence. cases. Mm -hmm. So if I you acknowledge that you're just deleting one of your evidences, then I'm fine with that. I am moving on to a second point, but I'm not deleting it. Yes, you are, because you said, well, who knows if the Big Bang is true? Who knows? But but it's, it is a theory, correct? It Yes, it's scientifically that, proven. Yes. A scientifically proven theory? Yep. When you collect okay. enough evidence on something, we establish a confidence interval in science to say this is a true explanation of the world. And that's what our scientific theories are. So explain the difference between a theory and a law. Laws are just observations. They have no explanatory value at all. So everything, are th a lot of things are theories. Mm -hmm. uh, there, are a, there are a lot of theories. A lot of things are theories. There's, but there's, there's laws like Newton's laws that yep. were theories at one point, but we were able nope. to. They were never theories. Newton's theories. laws we were never we theories. Catch, we didn't have to gather evidence to prove that, that, that these laws were now laws. That's not a theory turning into a law. That's just that's just science doing what science do. Trying to yes, yes, and yeah, and I'm and I'm not saying that science is wrong. I'm saying that that, that these two stories are very very closely aligned. If you if you can stretch, if think of it as a movie, if you can stretch the idea that that Dominic Toretto and these fucking dudes that were racing cars underground are now in space, then you should be able to stretch that that god <laughs> created the heavens and the earth and the big bang theory aren't that too far apart from one another how does fast and furious relate to the big bang and god at all you are not listening apparently i was but i just don't see the connection <laughs> you weren't listening apparently yeah it's my fault you got me I'm happy to announce that I can now offer signed copies of both of my books. This is because I've reopened my merch store where you can get your very own Spanky, t-shirt, and more. If you don't know, Rational Answers to Stupid Questions is a collection of responses to about a hundred of the most common anti-scientific tropes. The book is meticulously detailed, it's been fact-checked by real scientists, and it's written in a clear and easy to understand way. Evolution, the Big Bang, creationism, flat earth, all of that plus more is in there. Facts That Aren't True is a collection of over 150 commonly held beliefs that are not true. Each claim has a story behind it. You'll learn the history behind the claim, the science that disproves it or partially supports it in some cases, and lots and lots of side stories and tangents. Categories include the human body, history, religion, animals, nature, language, and a hodgepodge of miscellaneous facts that aren't true. So if you want to be equipped to handle the misinformation that you see me tackling here every day, get a copy of one or both of those books for yourself. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, shall we, shall, I mean, well, I've, already, I've already used the three that I had. You've only used you've only used one so far. Earth is billions of years old. Oh, evolution. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, uh, well, evolution. hold on. I want to I want to go over something here with you. Um sure. So in North North Norse mythology, they have this beginning period where there was a void called the Ginnung Gap Gap Gap. What the hell? I don't know how to really say that. Take your time. Um, it was uh uh, there was an emptiness between two realms, the Niflim, a world of ice and mist, and the Muspelheim, a realm Niflheim of fire. And Muspelheim. Niflheim and Muspelheim. Uh, sure, something like that. So, uh, then the icy river met the sparks and flames of the other one, and the melting ice formed the, for for formed the first being, Ymir, a giant... From his sweat and body, other giants were born yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Okay, so this just explains... This is just the Big Bang, though. Because in the beginning, 
you know, space is just empty and very cold. But then all the collisions that come together to form the Earth through meteor impacts and all that stuff, that creates a lot of heat. So we have the meeting of fire and ice together, and that creates the energy necessary to form the first living beings. And the giant, that's just really obviously a, dis a depiction of, you know, a dinosaur or something like that. So can't you see how the Norse mythology is just the Big Bang? Your your theory is supported by mythology. Yeah. Don't don't you see how this yeah. Norse myth is just the Big Bang, just written in a way that the people at the time would have understood it? I think it's also a stretch, just the same way it is probably a stretch. That that this just in the same way that it's a stretch that God creating the heavens and the earth and the theory of Big Bang is the same thing. It's also the same story just told to help uh, people understand that these these sort of things took, you know, this this is not on the scale that we th that we think it is. It's just how we had to understand it as a human race. It's like the second as time he admitted it. OK, so what would be your other piece of evidence? What did I admit? That you have nothing. That you're just oh, reading wow. into it uh, in a in a poetic way that. As, as long as we play extremely fast and loose with all the words and we don't care about chronology and and and, and, and all of that and the timeline and we don't take any of it literally, then it can just be it can sort of be poetically interpreted some way. Uh, then sure, exactly we can do that with anything about a, about a set of mythologies that you can't even pronounce that one, two of the nine realms. Mm hmm. That's that's we, we're doing we're doing the same thing here, but I have nothing. I'm telling yeah. you, I agree. With the point was, I the, six I, pur I purposely made the, the dumbest argument I could. And you said, yeah, sure. To me, but I have nothing. Yes, because I purposely made the dumbest argument I could. And you said, you yeah, that's just that word, like what I'm word. doing. So if I have nothing, so do you. So what would be your next the next right. thing you would use? I, I don't I, I I guess I I guess I've got nothing then. Thank you for a riveting conversation. Well, you don't have anything with respect to the Big Bang, but you said you have three lines of evidence. Well, evolution is true. Yeah, God created fish and beasts on the fifth day. The fifth day could have been that's 65 not million that's not ago. evolution. The fifth evolution day doesn't have... say that a magic sky thing created fish. It said. Evolution says they evolved. Evolved from what? From other animals that lived in the water. Is would you would you not say that like that could be considered a fish? Things that if that's where if that's where fish the ancestors are, right? of fish water. at some point weren't fish. Right, they were single celled organisms that grew and and grew and grew and grew. Why mm. can't that be what God created? Well, that would be interesting if that's what it said, but it doesn't say that. Man, do we know about cells? I do. When, the when Bible clearly no, doesn't. I'm saying when, yeah, no, the Bible doesn't. No, didn't didn't try to explain anything about cells. It didn't. But that doesn't that, that doesn't pr disprove that they exist. That it doesn't prove that they knew that they did. I'm not saying they did. I'm simply saying that your 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 rigid understanding of of I guess creationism. I didn't even realize I was a creationist until I was watching this. Your rigid understanding of creationism and your rigid understanding of of of, of evolution is is like I, like why why does it have to be so why why complicated? Why it be it. I don't think it's. I don't think. Am it's I am I acting like somebody else? And trying to be frustrated. I don't understand your meaning. Anyways. Um, <laughs> so there's just very clearly no evolution in the Bible. But you think that God magically creating fish somehow works with evolution? Is there is there anything else about evolution that you think the Bible supports? No. 
No, I don't. Okay. What was the third thing? I don't even remember now, dude. I'm tired of this conversation being hijacked. Hijacked by what? Well, all all I've done is read scripture so far. You're really, you, you are, you're like, you're, I'm not, I'm not even trying to like say you're a bad person for believing in what you believe, for having the, for, for using your brain. I think more people should use their brain. I think that what you, your, your understanding of a lot of things, you have a wealth of knowledge behind those eyes. You're a very smart man, but you are handsome trapped too. in your own smart. I mean, sure, handsome, but you're, you're trapped in your own you're talented too. It's, it's just causing you to be a conversation <laughs> whore, a hog. You take over. You don't stop you know you don't stop i'll be trying to explain a point and then for one reason or another your diarrhea yeah. of the mouth will stop what will, won't even allow anyone you got a point i don't stop things. i do make it pop though sometimes i blow my speakers up oh tick tock baby mm-hmm. no nah, no honestly you seem like a riot of a guy <laughs> you seem like a blast man that's debatable Ha, 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 ha.